Well, the Hungarian camp received Bobby Robson's telex, wishing them well. There's very little support for them in the stadium this evening, but they do know that all English football lovers are behind them. Some two and a half thousand people here from Denmark making most of the noise that you can hear. And the Danes wearing white shirts and red shorts attacking the goal to the right in the first half. The pitch is on the damp side. There's been rain in the hour leading up to kickoff. And here's Varga for Hungary. And an early mistake giving possession away to John Lauritsen and it's Michael Laudrup arriving in the middle the goalkeeper in trouble and Siemensen with a missed kick when there was an early chance for Denmark Kovac winning only his second cap he played against England the Hungarian goalkeeper came off his line with no confidence at all but Alan Siemensen when the ball broke for him on the far side of the area thankfully for England couldn't react quickly Laudrup, the player, fouled. And Lerbu, who got forward quickly at a quickly taken free kick, could only send the ball behind. As I was saying, the goalkeeper has only played once before. Two new caps in the defence as well. And Antel Roth, who wears number six, a tall bearded figure just gone out of your picture. He's only playing for a second time. Hungary are looking to rebuild and to show some pride here but Karacic giving the ball away very sloppily and then in turn Roth doing the same 11 for Denmark with Klaus Berggren Lerbu chasing across was Shonkradi for Hungary but the free kick is given Denmark's way. The Hungarians saying yesterday how astonished they were with England's performance here. Finally, the tall figure of Roth trying to get some distance into the clearance. At the moment, Hungary unable to get out of their own half, but they have won a throw to be taken by their captain tonight, Peter Hanik, taking over that role from Niloshi, who is officially injured, although there are some doubters about his willingness to play in this game. Roth, Varga trying to get forward. Hungary's performances in the European Championship have really lacked spine. They've only two wins to their credit, both against Luxembourg. Nielsen having to stretch for Denmark as Shongradi got in quickly. lining up with three attackers although Karacic is expected to drop a little deeper behind Kish and Koloske Morten Olsen the Danish captain and this is Lauritsen Morten Olsen again and now Soren Busk Settled to their own tempo. Although Wagner was in charge, and here's the tall figure of Polovke, who did quite well for Hungary in the World Cup in 1982. And the first shot is from Carlos, who was the his manager is looking for from him tonight. But George Meze telling me yesterday that he felt his players were in a much better frame of mind for this game. And here's Hanik. Perhaps showing just that for Shandor Kish. And Kea, who was the Danish hero in the last minute at Wembley, dropping quickly to his left to save from Kish. But an indication there, maybe, 
but with an optimistic approach, Hungary might find a chance or two coming their way. They certainly showed up very poorly in front of goal against England. Now Busk. Huoyen sharply. And then Bertelsen for Denmark. Olsen. And it might yet come here for Siemensen. It's Lebu on his strong left foot. viewpoint but concerned surely at the ease with which Denmark opened up this young Hungarian defense young in terms of international experience Morten Olsen Finding support from Jesper Olsen, Laudrup Flick, maybe Poloske can stride forward, stopped by Nielsen. Nielsen once more. Now Siemensen. Laudrupsen outside him and Bergven here ahead of him. And Siemensen again. He'll take the corner. And Siemensen goes short to accept it. Jesper Olsen on his weaker foot. And in the end, it was Larsen after some neat work to bring the ball under control. It never really sat kindly for him. One touch, a second to beat the defender. The third was the volley that was a few yards over. Kardosh. Turned by Hanny. Larridson this time doing the defending on Shuoi's first cross. And the teamwork of the Danes apparent again. Until the ball is given away. And Poloske. It wouldn't quite come down for him. And Poloske just stretched to beat Nielsen. It was an enterprising effort, really, and it almost caught Kerr off his line. Bertelsen has joined Lebu over the ball. But it's driven in fiercely by Lebu, beaten away by Kovac, only as far as Ladra. This is Nielsen. And Siemensen, but... The referee, I think, gave the offside. It'll be interesting to see where the ball is placed. This offside has been given, but the flag stayed down. But anyway, Siemensen put it wide. So we passed the halfway mark in the first half. The better chances have come... Denmark's way. But the score remains nil-nil. Tragic. The touch from Shondradi. 
that found panic. Just cut out by Soren Busk at full stretch. And Simonson. Simonson. And when the ball had gone, they did on that occasion. And another violent challenge. Simonson, who had this heel problem that hampered him in training yesterday. Well, we've seen Lerbu drill one shot in from this position. He curls it forward this time and. Nielsen was closely marked by Kardosh. Now, Kovac was in danger of sliding out of the area. But got away with it. Poloske. Good work again in terms of winning the ball for Denmark by Lavenston. of the Danish players by the supporters of the international team. And certainly showing his value in this first half here in the Nets Stadium in Budapest. And indeed it's Larridson making himself available again. Morgan Olsen, who had such an effective game against England. Busk. Olsen again. And Jesper Olsen. Well, his skill is bringing in some pain at the moment. Both he and Siemensen subjected to some cynical tackles. And Olsen had got the ball past Shuoi. Running into Poloske. Jongrady. Hungary as yet hasn't shown us a great deal from midfield, but here's Taracic. And again. Well, it was the best opening that the Hungarians have made. It came in the end the way of Poloske, who shot as Morten Olsen dived in. Poloske, who's attacking across the whole width of the front line goes his way too. And now Tarakic. It's a corner. And Tarakic had the option here from a quickly taken throw. Keish was arriving in the middle. And it was deflected behind at the near post. Tarakic, who goes across to take the corner, was looking for the gap there. He's not scored for Hungary for more than three years. Shongrani, Panic, looking for Varga, Denmark had pushed out. And it was Larridsen who bought the Danes some time. Stayed in play, collected by Laudrup. Here's Bergen. Bertelsen, and they've left Siemensen once more. This could be so costly for England, but it's buried into the pit of the stomach of Kovac. All the problems for Hungary coming for, from Siemensen's space, in which they just didn't have the strongest of finishes. As we move into stoppage time at the end of the first half, indeed the half-time whistle goes, it's Hungary nil, Denmark nil. Reasonable news for England so far. And coming up shortly, the second half of this crucial game for our hopes, and also the first reaction from the England manager, Bobby Robson, on what's happened here in Budapest and what it means for England. Welcome back to this famous football setting in Budapest, the Net Stadium, where England's hopes in the European Championship rest with Hungary. No goals, but Hungary did make three chances in the first half, and they've certainly offered more than they did here against England.
is Choi. Jesper Olsen slipping on the damp top. Karacic going in strongly. Now Jesper Olsen, and here's John Lauridsen. Morten Olsen has timed his move forward well. And the flag has stayed down. Lavra. Well, he's hit the side netting again, as he did at Wembley against England. Hungary thought there was an offside. The linesman was having none of it. He slipped it round the goalkeeper, but couldn't roll it into the empty net. So what will be the Danish response here? Oh, here's Battleson looking for a quick reply. And Kovac hangs on. But it's a gamble that has come off for Georges Meze in including Shandor Kish in the side. He has to go into hospital Kish for a back operation in November when they have a mid-season break here. But he gambled that he was fit enough to do a job against Denmark. Lauritsen. And here's Lebu. And Shoy just made contact. It's a corner. Denmark stung to retaliation. And wondering now, perhaps, about those chances that they've missed. And Ole Kea can reflect that the goal really must be down to him. There has always been a feeling that the goalkeeping department is the one real weakness the Danes have. Now Lauritsen. Bergman was offside. Throughout the match, he's been looking Klaus Bergman. Olsen tries again. Kovac again made the same move. He's back on his line now. Nodge. And then Panic. Maybe a foot was high there. Now, no foul. The referee looked straight at it and waved it away. This is Nielsen. It's a real scramble. <laughs> from Nielsen with his right foot. A shot that looked to be hammering in the corner. Nielsen had a swing at it, and the goalkeeper stuck out the leg. Real pressure now from Denmark. And Kovac can grasp it again and wants to use it quickly. Well, it was improvisation by the goalkeeper, playing only his second international. An important save from the point of view of his career, but important too for the hopes of England. Bertelsen. Varga rising. And then twisting to turn to shepherd the ball. Back for Kovac. So, Lev. 
boot. Now Siemensen. This is Elkier with Morton Olsen again arriving from the back. Now it's for Laudrup. Can he finish this time? Well, the Danish players put hands to heads in disappointment. Michael Laudrup with nine goals in seven internationals before tonight. But at the key moments here in Budapest, his scoring touch has failed him so far. on by Doika. Directed by Bertelsen initially and Lebu here. And Lebu with the talent to go his own way. Still so in Lebu. And Elke this time is offside. And it doesn't count. And the Danes can have no cause for complaint. Bevan Elke, who actually is suspended at the moment in Belgian club football, he plays for Lokeren. It's halted by Busk. Lebu. On the far side is Jesper Olsen. They're queuing up to meet the header. Laudrup. Hungary looking very tired at the moment. Jesper Olsen again. And Wagen made sure that it wouldn't reach back then. Laudrup with that silky turn. Still Michael Laudrup. And Kovac beats it behind. Well, Laudrup again with that wonderful acceleration. Varga to take it. He's going to make it. from Roach. Busk. Bergen trying to take it on the run. And Varga got the ball. And the linesman points for a throw to Hungary. The scoreline that will gladden the heart of every English football lover. Some might say that England have been given the quiche of life. Shandor Quiche, the scorer of the only goal here tonight for Hungary. But as we go into injury time, Denmark still pressing for the equaliser. But here is Quiche. And Poloske, three again. Of regroup totally. Hanny can use up some time and perhaps still find a way through. Well, it's a mazy run and it's produced a corner and more important, used up some more time. Corner. In came Doika. England are still alive in the European Championship thanks to an uprising of Hungary's pride and talent. The one goal from Shandor Kish ten minutes into the second half, and Denmark are beaten for the first time in Group 3. A win in Greece on November the 16th will still put them into the finals, of course, but it's a hostile atmosphere there for an away team. Danish confidence cannot be too high.
Bobby Robson can still hope to take England to France next.